The Vietnamese government has said one person was killed in the rioting on Tuesday and Wednesday night, but a doctor at a hospital near one area of clashes said he had seen 21 dead bodies and that at least 100 people were wounded. And, the Vietnamese government should be accountable for the violent attacks on Chinese companies and staff, China's public security minister Go Shenkin was quoted saying in a telephone call with Vietnam's minister of public security Tran Dai Quang. And, we are strongly dissatisfied by the Vietnamese side failure to respond effectively to curb an escalation of the situation, he said adding that there had been large numbers of casualties. And thousands of Vietnamese attacked businesses and factories on Monday and Tuesday in the country's industrial parks, targeting Chinese workers and Chinese-owned businesses. Many Taiwanese-owned firms bore the brunt because the crowds believed they were owned by mainland Chinese, and Hong Kong firms were also hit. And China's foreign ministry advised Chinese nationals to hold off from traveling to Vietnam and told Chinese citizens in Vietnam to avoid leaving their premises, according to a statement posted on the minister's website on Saturday. And according to Xinhua, Tran assured Go that Hanoi has mobilized large numbers of police to restore calm and suspects had been arrested. And Vietnamese anger erupted after China parked an oil rig in a part of the South China Sea claimed by Hanoi. It is the worst breakdown in ties between the two communist neighbors since a brief but bloody border war in 1979. And in Washington, a senior U.S. official, speaking on condition of anonymity, told Reuters that China's provocative actions in maritime disputes were dangerous and had to stop, and China's relations with its neighbors were straining ties with the United States. And, reporting by Chen Eyes Yu and Niu Shuping, editing by Simon Cameron Murk.